Life may change, but it may fly not. Hope may vanish, but can die not. Truth be veiled, but still it burneth. Love repulsed, but it returneth. I arise from dreams of thee in the first sweet sleep of night, when the winds are breathing low, and the stars are shining bright. The wise want love, and those who love want wisdom. All love is sweet given or returned. Common as light is love, and its familiar voice wearies not ever. Familiar acts are beautiful through love. Heaven's ebb and vault studded with stars unutterably bright, through which the moon's unclouded grandeur rolls, seems like a canopy which love has spread to curtain her sleeping world. If a person's religious ideas correspond not with your own, love him nevertheless. I love tranquil solitude and such society as is quiet, wise, and good. Music, when soft voices die, vibrates in the memory, odors, when sweet violets sicken, live within the sense they quicken. Rose leaves, when the rose is dead, are heaped for the beloved's bed, and so thy thoughts, when thou art gone. Love itself shall slumber on. Ah! What a divine religion might be found out if charity were really made the principle of it instead of faith. Love, dearest, sweetest power, how much are we indebted to thee? How much superior are even thy miseries to the pleasures which arise from other sources? I love love, though he has wings, and like light can flee. Woe is me! The winged words on which my soul would pierce into the heights of love's rare universe, are chains of lead around its flight of fire I pant, I sink, I tremble, I expire. So soon as this want or power, of love, is dead, man becomes the living sepulchre of himself, and what yet survives is the mere husk of what once he was. You ought to love all mankind, nay, every individual of mankind. You ought not to love the individuals of your domestic circles less, but to love those who exist beyond it more. They who inspire is most are fortunate, as I am now, but those who feel it most are happier still. We look before and after, and pine for what is not, our sincerest laughter with some pain is fraught, our sweetest songs are those that tell of saddest thought. The pleasure that is in sorrow is sweeter than the pleasure of pleasure itself. I love all waste and solitary places, where we taste the pleasure of believing what we see is boundless, as we wish our souls to be. True love in this differs from gold and clay, that to divide is not to take away. Love is like understanding that grows bright, gazing on many truths. In fact, the truth cannot be communicated until it is perceived. For love and beauty and delight, there is no death nor change. The more we study, the more we discover our ignorance. The great secret of morals is love, or a going out of our own nature, and an identification of ourselves with the beautiful which exists in thought, action, or person, not our own. Thou demandest what is love? It is that powerful attraction towards all that we conceive, or fear, 
or hope beyond ourselves, when we find within our own thoughts the chasm of an insufficient void, and seek to awaken in all things that are, a community with what we experience within ourselves.